And among the 10 people who died in the crash were three women. They were in the two-storied building when the plane crashed into its terrace. They have been identified as the wife, daughter and daughter-in-law of the owner of the building. The owner and his son were also there in the house when the plane crashed, but they escaped unharmed. We will say that it is a pain for us. 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 अब मकान भी सील कर रखा है ये कहाँ रहेंगे लोग काम डेड बॉडियों को ले जा के दाख किया करवाएंगे कि जो हमारे रिश्तेदार हैं हमारे मकान में तो कुछ बचा नहीं इनको तो प्रबंध किया जाए Let's take a look at the site of the crash now. The nine-seater PC-12 uh, uh, used as an air ambulance came crashing down into a residential colony in Faridabad near Delhi. Now, the plane carrying seven people on board burst into flames after it crashed onto the rooftop of a two-story house, damaging the neighboring house too. And tracking this big story, uh, let's get more updates on it. Let's go across to Kashish, who is at the site of the crash. And uh, there's Anjal Bohra, who joins us uh, from the hospital where the injured have been taken. Kashish, let me come to you first. Uh, well, of course, this tragedy happened last night. Uh, when you look at it in the morning, what's it like? We understand narrow lanes, the ambulance uh, uh, had a tough time getting in here. Give us an understanding of the terrain there. Well, Kulsum, you know, we talked a lot last night about how densely populated this colony is, this entire area is. But I've just been speaking to some police officials early this morning and they tell us that this is an area which has at least about 40 to 50,000 people. So you can imagine how dense uh, really this entire area is. I'm just going to step aside really quickly and try and show you what this neighborhood really looks like. As you can see, you know, houses and houses, row after row uh, of houses, the lanes are really narrow right behind uh, over there you can see the the uh, fag end of the aircraft that's really uh, the tail end really Kulsum which is still uh, pretty much where it crashed in that two-story building last night just below in the road in the lane below uh, we walked a little while earlier the propellers are still lying the debris from last night is still lying uh, you know if we go uh, you know just a little bit towards the front you can see that the entire building has actually been burnt because of the fire that was flaming last night. So really a much clearer sense of what actually happened last night, uh, really as we look at it in the morning light. It's important to really point out that in that building while we talk about the three women who died, they were actually in the house and it so happened that there was no electricity in the house and the police officials were telling us that the men had just eaten their food and they were walking outside in the lane because there was no electricity and the women were just sitting in the house and, uh, and this accident happened and they died instantly on the spot uh, on the spot and and also, uh, you know, on the top, sto uh, on the top uh, part of the house were uh, this Nepalese family, four members of the Nepalese family. We haven't been able to trace them yet. Uh, also, we just had a DGC official just right now inspecting the site, probably to try and figure out what really went wrong and what, uh, you know, what really went wrong in the aircraft and why it actually crashed and why it did not follow air traffic control, uh, uh, air traffic control commands. But uh, let's just listen in to uh, our colleagues Siddharth Ranjan Das, who spoke to one of the eyewitnesses at the crash last night. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com/apps.